Hello and welcome to another Quinn's Tech Corner video. This is a video I've wanted to make for quite some time. You may have seen some of my previous videos of me running Mac OS 9 on the iMac G3, but I had to point the camera directly at the CRT and filming it was an absolute nightmare. So I got to thinking, I do have another machine that can boot Mac OS 9 natively, the iMac G4. This is one of the earliest models of the iMac G4, so this is perfect. So today we're going to install Mac OS 9 on the iMac G4, and also test a screen recording setup on there. Let's get started, shall we? So here is my beloved iMac G4. And you might be wondering how I'm going to get video out of this to screen record. These models actually use mini VGA. So what I've got here is a mini VGA adapter to normal VGA and then VGA to HDMI. And that's going into the Razer capture card there and into my MacBook. Annoyingly, I can't get video out of the capture card without having an output device. So over here. So I'm now going to insert my extremely legit copy of Mac OS 9. Annoyingly there's no eject button on the keyboard I'm using at the moment so what I'm going to try and do is just shut it down and then start it back up holding down the mouse. Yes there we go okay disc is in. It's found the DVD and I'm now going to go into Apple system preferences and I'm going to choose the Mac OS 9.2.1 install disc. So it looks like that worked and the Mac OS 9 boot screen looks awesome on here. So this is where my little experiment starts, I guess. I'm actually going to switch to screen recording now. So let me know down in the comments below what you think of this. I also have the Logitech camera on the iMac as well. So you can see my dubious looking face in the bottom corner. Okay guys, it's gone a bit wrong. We're back in Tiger. The OS 9 DVD is recognized, the DVD drive's working and it boots up until a point, but then it hangs. And the only explanation I can think for that is that this iMac G4 is not the earliest model like I thought it was. We've got the Power Mac 4,2 identifier there, but both the 2001 and 2003 models have that same identifier. What we're going to do instead is we're going to download the Mac OS 9 Lives Edition. A little bit like Sorbet Leopard, the Mac OS 9 Lives Edition of Mac OS 9 is a custom build. It's Mac OS 9.2.2. From what I understand, it's got a custom Mac OS 10 ROM, and it basically allows you to boot Mac OS 9 natively on more machines. Here we are on my modern laptop and I'm going to go onto my server here, Milky Way it's called, and I'm doing this because it's actually got a DVD drive that I can burn things with, so we're going to find the Mac OS 9 lives image on this machine. Here it is, the universal installer. I'm going to download the latest file here. In the meantime I'm going to find a CD to put this on and luckily yesterday I picked up a bunch of CDs. Here is my pre-labeled CD and I'm going to put that into the DVD drive of the Mac Mini server which is just above me there. I guess I'll right click and do a burn disk image to disk and burn. That's that started. Here we are, Mac OS 9 lives burned to the CD. That didn't take very long at all so I'm going to put it here into the iMac. Yes, there we go. Okay, restart on Mac OS 9.2.2. Mac OS 9 lives. We have a mouse and we have the little happy finder icon. Ooh, Mac OS 9 version 9.2.2, the well-tempered Mac OS. <laughs> it looks like this was built in 2013. Ah, oh, no, it's changed the screen resolution and the recording is broken. I managed to get into control panel and sort it. While I was in control panel, I discovered this weird noise. Is that normal? Little squishy noise? It's quite cute. Here's the readme. Please visit our forum at macos9lives.com slash smforum. Oh, the scrolling on the Mighty Mouse isn't working. Fair enough. Okay, drive setup. If I click initialize on there, I'm pretty sure it's just going to destroy the entire drive. Apple software restore? Is that it? I'm pretty sure it wants me to restore this onto the partition I want. I'll quit that and I'll go and read the readme like I was supposed to. Launch Apple software restore. Make sure the destination disk is your newly formatted volume. Click restore. Ah, oh, yeah, easy. I was right, let's go back to Software Restore. I really like the Mac OS 9 installation environment. It has so many more features than the current one does. Mac OS 9 lives, OS 9, restore. This operation will erase volume OS 9. Yep, no problem. Oh, this is exciting. I've never installed Mac OS 9 this way. It's actually identical to how you do a Sorbet Bay Leopard installation, so that's quite funny. All right, that's that. Looks like it's restored. Shut down. Ah, oh, special. Shut down. Guys, this is miserable. I'm going through a setup screen here, but you can't see it because the resolution is wrong. Here we are. I managed to get the resolution back to normal. My journey with Mac OS 9 has been quite interesting. So it started off with me emulating it via QEMU on the M1 MacBook. Then I installed it on the iMac G3. So bare hardware, which is great, but I had to point my camera at the CRT screen and it was an absolute pain to record. Now it's on bare hardware on the iMac G4 and I have this video recording set up, which is really great. Looks 
like we've got the airport utility down here. Highly doubt this will work because it didn't even work in Tiger. But we'll try connect to the wire. Yeah, okay, no. <laughs> I didn't expect that to work. Oh yeah, quantum foam looks pretty good. I'm not sure if this is going to work, but I've tried to be a bit crafty. And I've connected the Mac Mini server and iMac G4 via Ethernet. And I've enabled internet sharing on the server. So it should be sharing its internet connection via Ethernet. I'm going to try and get on the internet via Internet Explorer here. <laughs> I pressed H by accident and it's coming up with Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Love it. It looks like that's not working. Let's try control control panel and then TCP IP. On the server machine in system preferences, the ethernet interface was showing up yellow and it had all the wrong IP config in there. So I gave it a proper IP separate to what the Wi-Fi was and I cleared the manual config in here and used the DHCP option. I think that's us, I think it's gonna work. Yes, there we go guys, we're on Google on Mac OS 9, on an iMac G4, and now we can download Classilla. Classilla.sit, which is a stuff it file. I'm also gonna look for USB overdrive. This allows me to right click and scroll with the mighty mouse. That's the idea anyway. <laughs> That's it for today. I've had a little poke around. I've had a lot of fun making this one. Let me know in the comments down below what you thought of this. And if you want me to test any specific software, I will probably do that for you. But for now, that's all. And I'm really, really excited to be using Mac OS 9 on the iMac G4. I don't know if I'll keep OS 9 on the iMac G3. It's great that it's using its original operating system, but now I've got Mac OS 9 on here and it is a much better experience. Maybe I can chuck OS 10 back on the iMac G3. I've actually never used an installation of Mac OS 10, 10.1 or 10.2. So maybe I'll try one of those. If you like this video, why not press like and consider subscribing. Thanks for watching guys. Bye bye.